This is Jackie with All Access, and I'm here with the Life of Dylan at the first day of uh, Sweet Life Festival here in Maryland. It's a lovely day. We're nice back here enjoying a little swing time, a little hang time. Um, describe the sound on your EP prologue. Go for it, Rob. Uh, so we like to call it acoustic house. It's like four to the floor rhythms with guitars, ukuleles, banjos, a bit of piano in there. You know, it's just like feel good vibes, sunshine music. That's what I'd say. Sunshine music. I like that. Sunshine music. Is there one song uh, on the EP that you feel best represents the band? No. No. Okay. So then Overload. <laughs> Good segue. On, right? Overload uh, has received over a million plays online. What does that mean to you guys? That's awesome. That's great. Mm. Do you know how long we've been waiting for something that has six zeros on the end of it? <laughs> Wicked. When, uh, when like, we first started making the music and putting it online, we would have been happy with 10,000 views, yeah. 5,000 views, and, you know, that's a million people. That's, you know, that's crazy. Crazy. How else do you guys use social media to keep in touch with fans? Snapchat is a big one for us. Yeah. Periscope. Do you know Periscope? No. Okay, so this is like this, uh, it's like a live feed. Like, so, so we could start Periscoping now, and it would tweet to our fans, and we'd get a... Inst they get a they, we, yeah, and they would start getting views and stuff, and then it's gone as soon as you let go. So that's Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter, Vine... Everything. And we at everything like ourselves. Like, it's, it's us. So when you Snapchat us or whatever, yeah, yeah. at Life of Dylan, going to put that in there, um, you know, that is us talking back to you and responding. That's good. And that's important because some uh, musicians, you know, maybe they're just too cool. I don't know. It, they have someone else doing their social media for them. So it's definitely not the same. Even, like, at shows and stuff, though. Like, we, 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 the last couple of shows we've done, we've, like, gone down in the crowd afterwards and, like, enjoyed the rest of everyone else's set. And it's so good to, like, talk with people and be like, yeah, and just... Just get, yeah, just kind of. Is there someone set that you're really looking forward to today? Oh, I mean, I would have liked to see Kendrick Lamar. I know he's on the other stage, but um, yeah, I'm a big fan of Kendrick, so. Yeah, we can still watch it. Yeah, mm. if you're so loud, awesome. we'll let you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we'll let you. Awesome, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I have no say, but we'll, we'll still let you. Um, so what types of music did you guys listen to growing up? Uh, we all kind of had different influences. Like, I was very hip-hop heavy, then dubstep, then EDM, then all kinds of hardcore stuff, you know. David is more of a country guy. Why don't you go on, Dave? Yeah, yeah. I guess mine, I was more into like John Mayer and Bella Fleck and that kind of like country melodic type stuff. Um, yeah, these guys were more about hip hop. Yeah, I listened to like a lot of uh, hip hop R&B, but also like Afro beats, Bashman, reggae, like all that kind of stuff. So a lot of those other influences, I think, sort of uh, really come to, uh, come to fruition in your own sound. Uh, what is the songwriting process like? Describe that for me for you guys. It's always different, like every song's different. For a lot of the songs that, you know, are on the EP, uh, Prologue, which has just come out, um, just gonna throw that in there as well. <laughs> um, it was more, so me and Joe will kind of start with like a basic arrangement, like a guitars, pianos, and like getting like a rough song down. And then we kind of ship it upstairs. So at home we've got like two makeshift studios and we ship it upstairs to Rob, who's upstairs, and he does more of the like technical production on it. Um, yeah, that's about it. It really depends on uh, the song, but also like where we're at at that point in time so if like you know at, at a certain point last year uh, we weren't living in the same house as Robert and you know because of that you know we if I was if he would start sometimes he would start the tracks by himself or you know conversely sometimes myself and David would start the tracks and you know it just depends on you know it doesn't matter we're going to make it work like at the end of the day you know go through like a lot of different versions so it'll go back from us to Rob back to us then we'll come together and we'll see if it works out or if we should just scrap this one and start again <laughs> sounds like it's very helpful though to be all in one place yeah, at least yeah. you're in the same yeah. same building together so now you're here at Sweet Life I know you're excited for Kendrick Lamar I have to say that's Billy Idol Billy Idol's gonna be awesome mm -hmm. yeah the the 80s I, I grew up in the 80s so that's definitely a, a definitely a, touch, a the heart. touch the heart yeah that's a great one um how do you make sure that you leave a lasting impression with fans? Um, just be genuine, I think. Just be yourself. I, like you, went, you mentioned earlier, some, some artists get so big and they get too cool for school or whatever, but like, I think we're just going to be ourselves. And you know, if you like us, you like us for who we actually are. And we're not trying to sell anything. We're just out there being ourselves. So when you connect with us, like, and you, that's us. Well said. So make sure that I, th I think that's the easiest way to leave a lasting impression with fans. Um, 
what's up next for you guys after the Sweet Life Festival? So we've got a tour coming up with Megan Trainer, the M Train tour, going across all over America, all kinds of different cities, 30 dates uh, from the 3rd of July all the way up until September, I think. So that's a big, big deal for us. And we can't wait, you know, to meet all the fans out there and see all the people and see the country. You know, like this is the first time I'm in this particular spot, Maryland. And it's like it's like that every day for us now, like a new city, a new day. You know, it's going to be awesome. Tr with Megan Trainer, that's that's going to be an awesome show. Yeah, well, s excellent. We'll stay tuned for much more from Life of Dylan. This is Jackie. Thanks to All Access and in the key of change.